Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Stock My Closet. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and also click the bell icon to get the notification as soon as we upload a new video. In today's video, I am sharing cutting and stitching of short shrug and for that I have taken this leftover fabric. This is 80 cm of fabric. Firstly, I will fold the fabric in width and then in length. This is for front and this is for back. Now I'll cut it from here. Firstly I'll cut the back of shrug. I'm leaving half inch of seam allowance on the top. Now for shoulder take half of your shoulder width. In my measurement shoulder width is 13.5 inch so half of it would be 6.75 inch. Neck width is 2.5 inch and shoulder slope is 0.5 inch. Now I'll mark the armhole which would be half of armhole round. In my measurement armhole round is 14 inch so half of it would be 7. This is sleeveless shrug but I am not deducting half inch out of it because this is shrug and you have to wear it on the kurti or top or something. So you need space. So I am keeping it 7 inch. Now mark 1 inch inwards and join these points to the top. Now from the top I'll mark the point at 10.5 inch apex point and shoulder to waist 14 inch. Now for chest I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement chest is 31 inch. 31 plus 3 is 34 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.5 inch. For burst again I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement burst is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. And waist is 27 inch. Again, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. 27 plus 3 is 30. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. Now, I'll join these points. And now, I'll make the armhole curve. I'm leaving 1.25 inch of seam allowance. Here I'm leaving 1 inch. So marking is complete and now I'll cut it. Now to cut the front, I'm taking open side as center. And now I'll place the back. And also I'm leaving 0.75 inch of seam allowance as this is front open. And now I'll cut it. Now I'll mark the neck depth point at 8.5 inch and I'll join it straight to the neck width point and I'll join this point to the bottom with the curve and now I'll cut it. For stitching I'll start with the shoulder slope. So I have stitched the shoulder slope and overlocked it. Now I will finish the armhole round with bias strip. Just place it on the armhole round, right sides facing each other. And I will make a stitch till the other end. So I have attached the bias strip. Now fold it towards the wrong side including little bit of seam allowance to keep it stiff and make a stitch on the edge of the bias strip. Now 
So I have made a stitch. Now I will trim the excess fabric. Now I'll fold the bias strip inwards and I'll make a stitch to secure it. So I have finished the armholes. Now I'll stitch the side fitting seam on both sides. I have stitched the side fitting seam. And now I'll finish the front with bias strip just like I did to finish the armhole. So I have attached the bias strip. Now I'll fold it and I'll make a stitch on the edge of bias strip. I have folded the strip and now I will trim the excess fabric. So I finished the front and my shrug is almost completed. Now I'll attach these dories to tie in front of the shrug. I've already shared how to make dory earlier. I'll share the link in the description box. You can check it out from there. So my shrug is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.